hi guys and um welcome back okay so today i'll be taking you through the basic way on how to navigate canva how to use canva um so this is just going to be really quick to have canva on your phone what you have to do is go to your if you're using android you can go to your google play store and then type canva and then you done and then you install it on your phone or you go to your apple store if you're using an iphone and then you install it on your phone and then you can create an account using your um your gmail or you can go through the traditional way of turning your email address and then your password and then you create an account for yourself there's a free version and there's also a paid version but if you're starting out new you don't not need the paid version yet you can always find yeah you know there are a lot of templates that come um with the free version so you can only stick with the free version for now all right so this is the home page it keeps getting upgraded all the time so that's why you can see a lot happening here all right so you can create instagram posts invoice linkedin posts social media um posts you can create videos using canva you can create presentations documents whiteboard websites and so on if you click on more you see other things that you can create you know so yeah you know the shapes of the like, different kind of posts that you can create as you can see so very quickly let's go back okay so one thing i'm going to say is when you're trying to navigate an application just try your best to click on you know the icons the buttons that you can see here and there and then you know you will figure out to find your way around it all right all right so this make me an image write my first draft this are just the, um this are just the ai function of using canva all right so here you have you are going to your recent designs are going to come these are my recent designs and you can click on see all to see all of them all right so um when i scroll down you will see um remember this is the home page um instagram post so you can you know use any of these templates too so canva provides a lot of templates so you can use the templates to you know create your own design or you can choose to just copy and paste you know you can click on see all to see all of them instagram stories as well you can click on see all to see all of them mobile videos you can create mobile videos presentation videos facebook um facebook post poster documents resumes you know your cv and all of that logos you can use templates here to you know design your logo we also have flyers we also have your stories documents instagram reels invitations youtube thumbnails invoices you can use this great invoice for your clients phone wallpapers photo collards cards and so on all right so if you come to the three dotted line by the side here i will click on it okay so you're going to see this is your profile the home page like we've seen you know brand is you know if you have like um let's say you have a brand and then you have brand colors you have brand fonts fonts are you know the different kind of appearances of your text so that's what font is applications there are some applications that are embedded in this um what's it called this this canva app um let's look at them very quickly okay so if you click on all applications okay so if you click on applications you will see um some of them you know that you can actually use if you need them in a design or something let's not let's move forward okay let's go back um and then also scrolling down you see your recent design so you can also click click on them from here so very quickly i'm just going to show you how to um search for a template and also design a template so we're going to click on this search over here and then let's say we want to search for a portfolio you can just type portfolio like i, I already did and then you're going to click on search all right so so these are my designs because i click on portfolio and any have portfolio on my that i created so it's also going to bring out this you know and then you can just scroll down to see the templates that canva is offering you all right so we have the paid version and then the free version the paid version is when you see the pro on it with the crown by the side and mine and also take note of so these are slides you know the portfolio it has like so many slides so by the side here you can see this one has 10 slide 10 slide 10 12 slide this one has 10 2 and so on so you can check to see the number which one you want to use which one 
you know easy for you to use and how many slide you can also actually create more slide or even delete the one that you do not need so let's look for a free version all right you can also star your um your design maybe you see a design that you like and you feel like you will get back to it later you can just start it and then you will go you click on templates here templates and then you click on the um the dotted lines by the side and then you see your start content over there all right let's go back all right okay so we're going to use i already started this one so we're going to use this design very quickly click on it and then it, this one has 10 slides as you um that's 10 slides as, as you can see but i can choose to just if i want to use just nine i can click on this and then you can see the delete button i can delete it if i want to or if i need more than 10 let me go back click on this to go back if i need more than 10 i can just click on it again just move this and then you see duplicates so you can duplicate that particular page you see now we have 11 slides all right let's move to the first page and just you know let me go let me walk you through how to um edit this particular template all right so what you have to do just click on this if make sure that if you're if you're designing the background make sure that you make sure that this blue um line on this um, rectangular portfolio template make sure that it is all around it like this not this way so if you want to design, if you want to design a background it has to be you have to click on the background and then um you know it's going to show this way all right also take please take note that this this tutorial is being done using your phone because i understand that most people use their phone when they are going through when they're trying to design quick um, when they're trying to do quick canva designs so that's why i'm giving this tutorial using um phone all right all right let's move forward so if i want to change the color of this background very quickly i can do this you know i can just click on color right here and then i can choose to just come here and then click or i can click on the arrow to see all my options of the colors that canva is giving me if i'm not okay with colors here i can just click on this plus sign here and then i can move this around to the colors i want or i can just you know just do this and that would show all right let me take it back to you can just click on this to go back and it will go back or you can just change the color by going back to the colors all right moving forward if i want to move for example if i want to change the picture on this i can just click on it click on the picture it is a, it is grouped i'm going to show you how to do that really quickly i can just click on the picture click on replace you have options to upload from our camera roll or we can just choose to upload i have some files and picture uploaded here you can just choose to upload files or you can record live or you can just click on photos um photos on photos you canva provides free photos for you some of them are not free yeah some of them are paid in the pro on images that are paid for you can click on search to search the kind of photo that you're looking for let's say you're looking for a virtual assistant photo so you can just click on virtual assistant maybe a person that looks like a virtual assistant and then you will see you know different photos that you can use remember if you're clicking on the let me say i want to use this so i'm just going to if you want to adjust picture you just click down on it just double tap on it and then this is going to come out you know and then you can move it around move it the way you want let's say i want to adjust it a bit you know so all you have to do is to double tap on it and then you can crop it and you can crop or adjust the image so it fits into the circle properly you can choose to ungroup this and then it's going to be singled out on its own so you can move this now when it wasn't ungrouped let's go back when it wasn't ungrouped if i want to move it i'll have to move it all together with um what is underneath this but let me take it back and then when i ungroup it you know and then i'll click on this and then you see i can take out this without taking out this all right so let's move let's move forward all right so you can just copy um your text from wherever and then click on anything that you want to you know you want to edit and then you can just paste you can just click on paste and then you paste where you want to paste also you can choose to change the font of this when you click on it you can see you can choose to edit it you can just change the font you know 
click on this and then you see the different type of fonts that you can use um you can choose to change the text styles you can choose to change the font size so you know maybe at font size means you can make it um bigger or you can make it smaller um, anyhow you want it. you can just change the text color the format you know of how this text is being placed you can change it to italics you can underline it and so on you know you can choose to space in it the line in between the professional and the portfolio you can choose to space in that um you can um you can animate it you can choose to reduce the transparency of how this shows okay so layers is just for you to see everything so if you don't want to click on it directly you can go to layers and then let's just click on this for an example you can do that so let's say you want to click on this particular circle that is on this professional portfolio if it is if it, if it is kind of difficult for you to do that so instead of trying your best to click on it what you just have to do is to go to the layers go to layers and then you will look for the circle this it is overlapping so just click on overlapping and then this is it you know so you can easily move this circle to where you want to move it so you understand remember you can click on anything and change the color that you know you feel like changing i can the color attached to this to black or any other color that you want to change it so, so you can always copy and paste you can move things around now if you want to move this graphic design and uh and uh what's it called the box or should i what should i think let me just call it box the box underneath it now if i move this graphic if i choose to move this graphic design you know it's going to just because it is white and the background or should i say yeah kind of white and the background is also white it might not it won't show you know but if i if i want to move it together so the best thing is to move it together you know because i need them except if i don't need them i can easily just change the color of this to this and then i can move it where i want to move but if i need this if i need this particular shape i can choose to do this let me go back i can choose to okay i'll click on this graphic design designer then zoom in with my hand just put your two hands and then just stretch it a bit you know click on graphic design and then I click on these three dotted lines and then i'll see select multiple so i just click on select multiple you know try to zoom in with my hands and then try to click on you know the, the box that it is in so you can see that it has actually you know click on the both of them for me and then this select multiple is showing so that means i'm select i've selected two items then i will click on this to go back and then to show me the option group and then i'll click on group now that I've grouped it, I can just carry it and move it together to wherever I want to put it to move it. So, so that's it, guys. Um, all right. So when you want to download your design, you're done and you want to download, you can just come here and click on download. If you want to share your design as a link, you can you can click on um, public link or something or share link or public view link. You know, you can click on more to see more options, you know. And then you can download and then you can download you also have, have options of download as the pdf standard pdf prints powerpoints mp4 video if you want your portfolio to show as a video or your design to show as a video you know if it's a picture then the highest quality is png um and so on all right you can choose to select the page if i want to just um download number one i'm just going to select page one but if i want everything i can just click on select all or if i want just the current page i'm on i can just click on the current page and then i'll click on done and then i click on download and it's going to download to my phone all right um so it's very easy guys you can just click on all the you know the buttons that you see and then it to show you what to do and so one thing again i'm going to say is when you're designing make sure your designs are aligned you know if you want a curved design if you if your design is meant to be curved then let it be curved if it's meant to be straight then let it be straight look at this now this professional the camera is going to show you the lines to make sure that you know so um so i'm going to i'm moving this with this cross sign here i'm moving it and then i want to put it in the right line with this samira hadid you can see the line you know and it's also in line with this text over here so make sure that your design is in line this graphic design designer 
um text i'm also going to put it back where it should be so if i want to move all of this now to the other side maybe i'm not comfortable with how it is i'm just going to move it okay this has not been grouped that's not a problem i can just move it and then move this here so you can always move your designs around anyhow you want to do it if you're not okay with this one you can just delete it maybe you don't need it you can delete it or add something else um i'll show you how to do that real quick so just make sure that your designs are on you know the same line i'm going to check if this one is aligning with this one see you can see that the line is on the same line now i'm going to do for this one also you can see all right now this all right so here we have it if this circle i feel like this circle this circle is too close to text i'm just going to move it down or even delete if i don't want it or maybe i want it somewhere else i can just put it somewhere else like this and then arrange my design this way and then that's it if i want to change the text i can the, the color i can change the color and there we go all right all right so um if i want to change the design i can click on design like this and then um scroll down and you will see so many other portfolio designs that you can use you can click on this to go back and see even more you know we have layouts style is how you know the the color the choice of color and choice of font so I click on this now it's going to yeah it's going to apply this color and choice of font to my design so yeah canva has made it very easy for you to actually design these things now if i click on click here and then i click on elements so you can either you can add pictures from here you can search what you need search on shapes there are different kind of shapes if you can see or you see you see all the shapes you can search on search for graphics you know pull down quiz quizzes and all of that you can add tables to your design photos videos even audios so you can add music chat stickers you know frame grids and all of that to your design you can add text you can take a picture from a camera roll this brand is just like i explained earlier you can upload you can you know you can use the these tools you can use um what's it called now like a pen to sketch and all of that this project is your recent project in case you want to add your recent project to your present project where you are designing you can just click this is my recent project you can just click on it you can choose to apply all pages to what you are designing or you can just click on one and then it will apply it to what you are designing and then um but if you do if you notice this what i clicked on has replaced the page that i was designing so i can just go back and then what i'm going to do is click on this make sure like that the blue line is covering the whole design and i'm just going to click on this three dotted line i'm going to duplicate so i already have two of this design one the first slide and the second slide so the next thing i'm going to do is go back to that project click on click on the body here go back to the project and then let me just use this one so click on this and then you see so it has replaced the first page remember i still have my original design first page so in case you don't want to lose that you can do that you can just duplicate and then that's it now let's click back on the body to see then you did your apps and then you can check your start um what's the code designs here and choose to you know if you want to add them to your present project let's say i want to add this you know so in this one now is asking me add as a new page or replace current page so what it's trying to tell me do i want to replace that first page or do i want to add as a new page so let me click on add as a new page so you can see that it did not replace the first or the second page it added it as a new page you understand so that's it guys um thank you and i hope you're able to understand um how to navigate canva a little bit i'm still going to i'm still going to create a more detailed video but this is just the basic way of navigating through canva thank you and bye for now i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and also do not forget to subscribe and also drop a comment if you have questions see you in the next video bye